So delta is data that is stored as parquet files, but it has one big difference. It adds this thing called a transaction log. So a delta is parquet with a transaction log. So what is this transaction log? Now imagine I have this table and I'm going to save it as delta. So the first thing it does is it saves it into parquet tables, to parquet files. And again, we split this into our row groups. We have file A and file B. And then at the bottom, we have this transaction log. And so what we do is we say, we've written down what we did. What we did is we added these two files. So I've added file A and I've added file B. Now I'm going to say, I want to change a row. I have realized Laura, that's not correct. Actually, the value I want is Alice. So I'm going to delete a row of Laura and add a row called Alice in. Now, as we said, we can't edit parquet files. So what we have to do is, um, we say we want to do that. It translates it and says, okay, I'm going to add my new file. So I'm going to add file C, which has the this bit of information updated, right? So this is my new file in with my new bit of information. And I'm going to stop using file B. And that's what tasks do, I write down this, I say adding file C. However, it doesn't delete file B. In my transaction log, I've got task one, task two. Task one says use file A and B. Task two just says, actually don't use file B, use file C. So if I read through the tasks, I can see that, okay, I need file A and file C, and this gives me the most up-to-date information. Now I want to get rid of the row Alice and add Sarah instead. So I write this down and I say task three. So this is saved a new file to the, to the storage, new parquet file called file D. And task three says, don't use file C anymore, but use file D. Now file B and file C are still there. Each of these tasks that it writes down in the transaction log, they're dated. So what I can do is something called time travel. So if I want to go back to a certain point in time, I can say, let me go back to task two. And task two, right, it says every step we've gone. So if I just follow the steps through task one up to task two, it will go back to this state. So I can see what my database was like at any time, even though, you know, the data there, I just go to the latest task to see the current state. And this is great because now I can go back in time. So this is what Delta does, this transaction log, it provides ACID functionality. So because of we're writing down everything that's happened and the transactions, it provides the same um, formality and the same functionality that databases can provide. It allows time travel, which is awesome. We can go back to any point. Because it will timestamp, so we can just say, I want this point in time or this date, see what it looked like. Really good for lineage and debugging, as you can imagine, because you can go back, see exactly what changed. And because of the parquet format underneath, perfect at date optimization and it stores things really well.